I'm Ryan Osbeck with Copeland Canada representing Filter Manufacturing. Let's get into it. I have here two filter single screw compressors, a VSM-401 and a VSS-601. The VSM-401 is a 205mm rotor compressor and the VSS-601 is a 240mm rotor compressor. Both of these machines are open drive compressors and the open drive single screw is most commonly direct coupled to the electric motor driver or even a natural gas engine. The VSM 401 compressor has the discharge on the discharge manifold is going to come out the bottom. It's a bottom discharge on the manifold. But the suction on the VSM is actually going to come through the side cover. Typically it's on this back side here, but it will be on the side cover. This cover will come off during installation. The suction key will then get bolted to it. And then that will have, of course, the check valve and suction valve on the top beside it with access to the strainer here. The VSM also is a C-flat unit. So there's a front cover right now that covers the balance pistons. This is just for shipping. This will come off and the C-flat will go on in its place. That C-flat and the direct coupled motor will already, because of that flange, be perfectly aligned or aligned well within spec and tolerances. That requires no alignment, although you should still check the alignment because Sometimes things happen in manufacturing. The VSS compressor will have a top suction and a rear discharge on the discharge manifold. That, will tend, that tends to elbow down into the separator. This will have the suction, the T, the suction T sitting on top of it. It'll get bolted in with access. The side covers, of course, stay in place all the time as there's no re reason to move them. But this is not a C flange unit, so this will be coupled to the electric motor and this will require a complete and proper alignment. Both of these units have ports on them for economizers, oil injection, liquid injection, top and bottom. Another significant difference to the external of these compressors that you can see is that the VSS compressor has external oil lubrication tubing, top and bottom. The VSM, it's all internally ported. Things you can't see that are different is actually the gate rotors. The gate rotor assembly in a VSM is different than that of a VSS. They're similar by design, as in they have, both have the two angular contact thrust bearings and the single roller bearing, but how they're built is a little bit different. The VSS and the VSM gate rotor assemblies, these are the major differences between the two machines. Both rotors have the roller bearing and the housing covers, but where the significant difference is, is between where the thrust bearings are located. For the VSM compressor, the thrust bearings are located inside the rotor support. But for the VSS, the thrust bearings are located in their own bearing housing that's fastened to the cover. These roller bearings in the VSS compressor are locked in place using the inner race bracket that bolts to the end of the VSS support shaft. This holds the inner race in place. For the VSM, it's held through a bolt through the, through the cover that, old, that locks us into position. For the VSM, or sorry, the VSS, to, shut, to set shelf clearance, we use a series of shims 
between the bearing housing and the cover to lift and locate the support. In the VSM, we use shims as well, but they are, and again, they are between the housing and the, and the gate, uh, but they are located on the shaft here and position themselves in the inner. And that is what's gonna pull and position this above its shelf. Assembly, disassembly for these are essentially very similar. The gates themselves have the same retaining ring on them. They're bushings for the gate and the float. Float checks, backlash check, shelf clearance, axial checks, they all measure out, they're all measured in the same way. Bearings are replaced and repaired in the same way with the roller bearings, the inner races being removed and reset. And then on the outer races for the rollers, the retaining rings pulled and then the roller being lifted out. For the thrust bearings, it's a similar situation again. We have the retaining clips that hold in the VSM and then these are pressed out or pulled away. They are, again, they're not an interference fit, they're a size on size fit. And same with the VSS or the VSS, the outer races are bolted and, and held in place by the retainer plate. Very similar in design and operation, but in terms of construction, that's where the major differences sit. Again, the VSM, the thrust bearings are located in the rotor support and the VSS, they are located in their own retaining casing. And that about covers the fundamental differences between a VSM and a VSS filter single screw compressor. I'm Ryan Osbach. Thank you for watching.